Welcome to Cleantech TV. Um, my name is Giles Parkinson and joining me today is Roger Stroud, the chairman of the Perth-based firm Algae Tech. Roger, um, welcome. Good afternoon, Giles. So, Roger, um, Algae Tech is in the middle of a fundraising for a listing on the stock exchange. Um, tell us what's um, unique about your particular Algae technology. The difference really is that we've taken very much an engineering approach, an industrial approach to uh, the the scaling of algae, and as opposed to uh, many others who have uh, approached it from the pond method, which is more the science and agricultural approach. Well, as far as the the process is concerned, both the the pond method and our method use uh, radiance uh, or suns the sun's um, energy to grow the algae. However, what we do instead of taking if you like, our mechanism to the sun, we're taking the sun to the mechanism. And in the process, we are able to reduce the area, the land area, very, very significantly. You will be using a solar array to collect that sun and sort of, um, uh, and, and sort of push it towards the, um, the algae um, growing areas? Yes, we'll, we'll use um, hyperbolic uh, or trough-like uh, reflectors or collectors, should I say, and they, they they rotate with the movement of the sun, and so this is maximising the amount of uh, sun energy per square metre, and that light is transferred to the to the photobioreactor. So, having grown the algae, essentially, what are you going to be using it for? Well, the, the microalgae is a plant, just like a, a, a tree. However, it grows at a much faster rate than a tree. And it, in fact, in, in the perfect circumstances, it can, it can duplicate every, every couple of hours. And just like a tree, it needs carbon dioxide to grow. So what we do, we source carbon dioxide emissions from whatever the particular source may be, be it a power station, a, a cement plant or some industrial process. And we transfer that carbon dioxide into the photobioreactors, which are these 40-foot sea containers, modified sea containers. And we've been able to absorb up to 85% of the CO2 uh, gas as it passes through the system. That is then converted into algae. And that algae is made up of proteins, carbohydrates, and vegetable oil of different proportions. And they can be then converted into uh, four revenue streams, which are uh, uh, the oil would be converted to biodiesel, the carbohydrates or the sugars converted to ethanol, the protein can be pelletized and, and used as stock feed, or the carbohydrates and the protein can be put together and turned into green jet fuel. Why has algae suddenly come to the fore of interest as a, um, as a feedstock and as a um, potential fuel? Well, Giles, over the last 20 years, the oil price has, has progressively moved up from the 90s where it was in, say, the low teens. And now we're looking at uh, an oil price up in the probably the $70 to $80 range. And we know it spiked at one stage at, one, at $140. That is a significant increase. As a result, the uh, pricing uh, opportunities for alternative fuels, such as um, uh, biofuels, has has arrived. So, Roger, you're seeking to raise $7.5 million in the IPO. Can you tell us what you'll be using the funds for? Yes, Giles. Uh, 37.5 million shares at 20 cents each. We feel that uh, on a per share basis is, a, is a, a very low entry price. The minimum number of uh, minimum uh, application is for two thousand dollars worth, which is ten thousand shares. We have defined in the prospectus exactly how the funds are to be applied, or in broad terms, how the funds are to be applied, and a reasonable amount of those funds will go directly to the demonstration facility which, as you know, we've signed a uh, MOU with Manildra down at Nara to uh, put in that uh, facility. So, Roger, what would a carbon price then mean for, um, for your business? Well, as far as the, uh, our economic analysis to date is concerned, 
we have we have not uh, used the carbon price uh, as as part of uh, our analysis at all. But more than likely, there will be some sort of carbon pricing as we move forward, and we can only say that that'll be a bonus to everything we're doing. Roger, thank you very much for joining us today. Charles, thank you very much. <laughs>